Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're Nick and Anna, digital nomads from the States who left and have been traveling full time, trying to see the whole world. If you enjoy our content, we'd love to have you as a subscriber. So click that subscribe, hit like, and do everything that you need to do, because this week we're going to be taking you around to as many shrines in Kyoto as we could fit in one day. If you're only in Kyoto for a short time, you're going to want to watch this video all the way to the end. We last left off just arriving in Kyoto from Tokyo Station, hopping into our cab. And you didn't think it was going to fit. No. Well. <laughs> it's in there. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Taxi, good idea. Mm -hmm. Because if we took the train, we'd be walking in 15 minutes. Versus it's a 10 minute taxi. Versus a 10 minute taxi and... Well, it would have been a train for like 20 minutes and then a 15 minute walk. So yeah. why would we do that? And I don't think I could walk another minute with those bags. No. It's hot. It's very hot. Okay, so we got dropped off. Trying to find our Airbnb entrance and how to get in. It started pouring rain. Uh, Anna's gone and run up ahead to try to find where our Airbnb is. We're a little lost. It's okay. Just a little water. Figure it out. Ten minutes later, still haven't found it. Nothing like just walking around a random Japanese neighborhood in Kyoto trying to find your accommodations. It's travel, everybody. Okay. We found it. We had to dig through some of the instructions. Oh God, it's about to start pouring again. <laughs> well, welcome to the entryway of our Kyoto house. So here we are staying in a typical house. So we'll show you guys around. It's pretty cool. So to get out of the entryway, come into the living room. We go to here. Nick, watch your head. We have a full-size living room, which I would say is a pretty decent size. And then if you come over here as well, we have like a little tiny, teeny bit courtside area. But it's raining right now, so the breeze is really nice. Watch your head. We have the kitchen. We have a full-size kitchen, which for Japan, this is actually pretty big. Here, we have a full-size bathroom, which is way better than our place in Tokyo, considering that our shower in Tokyo was like halfway through the sink. Oh my god, the spider didn't die! <laughs> oh! He came back from the dead. Oh my god, he's getting flushed. I thought drowning him was fine, but apparently not. <laughs> okay, upstairs? Yes, sorry. The spider scared me, so. We'll come back through. So this is like the first floor that's street level and then our bedroom is upstairs which we have these crazy steep stairs so our luggage will not be coming up here but it's like we're basically in amsterdam it's gonna be fun going to the bathroom at night these stairs are real steep okay and then this is where we're sleeping this place is huge <laughs> Nice little bed set up here. Nice, nice. Little... you won't be stealing blankets from me. No. <laughs> That's a fruit bed. <laughs> Even like the floors in here. The floors are like the traditional Japanese style. Like it's pretty cool. Cool. Okay, no shoes inside. Because I like to wear shoes in Tokyo. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 The whole thing wasn't even like half of this. It was probably about the size of the two beds. Yeah. Like that I was think the like, size of our apartment. We'll see. With like a bathroom and a kitchen yeah. and everything. So it's pretty tight. more space here in Kyoto. The next day, we started bright and early on our trip to see as many temples and shrines as we could in one day. We started at Arashiyama, the bamboo forest. Some have said that stepping onto this forest is like stepping into another world. It's one of the most beautiful and photographed places in Kyoto, despite only having really one main path through the grove. If you walk far enough into the grove, there's a small hidden temple here, which marked the first of many we were about to visit today.
from here, we walked over to our first train station of the day, which was equipped with some of the same card readers that we used in Tokyo. We were able to use the same Suka cards that we had used earlier in our trip, which was really nice. Dave, I'm, I'm overwhelmed with all the trains here. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> After exiting the train, we had a bit of a walk to get to our next temple. The rain had started to pick up a little bit, but we weren't really bothered. It felt good to be outside. This temple is famous for its dry landscape rock garden. The pictures and videos don't do it justice, but it's one of the most iconic gardens in Japan. And the arrangement of rocks and sand is really soul stilling, even with the crowds of people here. There are 15 rocks in the garden, but only 14 can be seen at one time. It's said that when you attain enlightenment, you can see all 15 at once. Yeah, we have a long day ahead of us. If I don't look like I'm in a good mood, it's because I'm hot. But she's in a good mood. For now. It is hot as hell. It is very hot today. It's hotter here in Kyoto than it was in Tokyo. And I'm just melted. I'm just thankful at least it's overcast. If the sun was beating down on me, I'd be dead. Oh yeah, 100%. I don't think I'm complaining that much. No, no, you're definitely not complaining as much as, uh, as, normally... as normal. But if the sun was on us, it would, we would be game over, so. Don't come in June is the lesson that is learned, yeah. but I mean, we wanted to come and we were on this side of the world, so why not? But yeah. avoid June if possible. Yeah. So you'll see us visit uh, quite a few monuments today. We'll take you around. Right now we're headed to lunch, which I am starving, so. I'm hoping it's uh it's a, we're going to like a sushi conveyor belt place let's go <laughs> let's go this was our first time at a conveyor belt sushi place so you'll have to forgive how entertained we were our eyes were definitely bigger than our stomachs but each plate was really only around 100 yen so we couldn't go wrong with what we were ordering I think we might have ordered too much. 
All right, so we were full at about 10 plates, but because we're incentivized to eat because of these little toy things that we got, we forced ourselves to eat another five plates. So we're at 15 plates. We're about to slide it in for a 15 plate. Play the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We didn't win. It's like a game you can't even play, so it's clearly rigged. It's like you just get the first one, and then it's like, keep eating. You get your cute little keychain at least. Yeah, we got one at least. You can have it. Our next temple was the Kinkaku-ji Temple, or the Golden Pavilion. If you go a little bit earlier in the day, you can really avoid the crowds and tourists here, typically around like 7 or 8 in the morning. This is a big spot for iconic photos and videos. We were lucky enough to get some footage without people in it, and we're taken aback by this temple's sheer size and beauty. Okay, so we're leaving the Golden Temple now, getting on a bus. And then we're gonna take the bus, and then we're gonna transfer to the JR train. Got about 40 minutes till our next place, so it's gonna be a lot of transit, but we'll, we'll hopefully we'll get there in one piece without this rain raining on us. We do have an umbrella, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> I know we're taking quite a few trains and buses on our trip today, but honestly, it was really easy getting around with our Suka cards. I'll link the itinerary in the description below for when you decide to go to Kyoto yourself. We're only halfway done with the day, and we're already getting tired. It's a bad sign. Next, we went to one of the shrines we were most excited about. Nothing says welcome to Kyoto like walking through one of these iconic Tori gates. And we didn't walk all the way up the mountain as we had other shrines that we had to get to, but if you have about two hours to spend here, you can do the four kilometer round trip hike up the mountain to see all of the gates. Generally speaking, the farther up you go, the less tourists you're going to run into and the easier it is for you to get photos and videos. A lot of stairs here. But then we get to go see this stuff like this. So apparently there's over a thousand of these here. And on this mountain she said it was like over ten thousand. That's so many. We got the Monday. Yeah, the big ones that we saw a second ago were like three million yen a piece. And that's usually corporations. These are for individual people. This is insane. What'd you get? I got our Kyoto magnet. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's good. 500. Five hundred. Five couple bucks. That's not good. I should put this in your backpack though so it doesn't break. Yeah. <laughs> so, how many more do we have? Four more. Okay, we're almost there. Kind of. We're halfway there. Um, we're halfway done. But this is exciting. <laughs> this is cool seeing like all of the like, the gates and temples and everything. I'm tired though. It's hot. It's hot. It's rain. Like kind of raining. I like the rain though. 
Okay, so for this particular shrine, we were inside. We weren't allowed to take any photos or videos. It's of you know, basically a thousand and one statues of Buddha. Um, as you can see on this poster behind me, this is kind of what they look like. Um, it's honestly one of the most astonishing things I've seen while on this trip. All kinds of statues, all the same, except they're crafted by different people, so they look like a little bit different. All of these statues here are over 700 years old, and that's just honestly crazy. We're going to, I think, two more temples. Hopefully they're allowed, we're allowed to take photos and videos there. We love stairs. We love them. Rain or not, this is worth it, 100%. The best season to come to this temple, nestled in the trees, would have to be autumn, as soon as the leaves start to change. They finally finished construction to restore this place so you could see it as it's meant to look. They have a few places you could make offerings and make wishes like good health, good marks on exams, and more, so I had to partake, obviously. Remember this day? Yeah. This is the day I wished to be rich. What? It's happening. I believe it. While it was raining pretty regularly at this point, this temple can be extremely crowded on nicer days and in the busy season during the summer. So plan accordingly. Your bad leg. Fix the bad leg. <laughs> Fix the bad leg, Buddha. Fix it. So this viewing area here has the best view of Kyoto. Not super crowded because it's raining. Definitely a beautiful spot to, to take a picture. Down beneath the temple, there's a waterfall where you can drink from for success, love, and longevity in life. So we, of course, got in line, took our sips, and moved on to the next place. This five-story pagoda can be seen from quite far, and it was actually built around the year 700. We finally headed towards the last shrine of the day, and then we're gonna get some food because we're starving. This shrine is designated for breaking off bad relationships and initiating good ones. You'd write your wishes on a piece of white paper, crawl through the hole, and pin your paper to the stone. Finally finished our tour. Pretty sure we've seen every shrine that was built in this city. Now we're going to get some food at the most American place of all time. Yeah, 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 I know, KFC, well, what can I say? We were hungry and desperate for some food at this point, but you know, we really hope you enjoyed our mega itinerary for Kyoto, and we'll put the link to our itinerary in the description to follow for your trip when you come to Japan. 
If you've made it this far, we'd love it if you hit the subscribe button, why don't you? Until next time, we'll see you around.